What up, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jazz, welcome back to another Madden 16 video today, we are about to unlock Lorenzo Neal fullback for the Chargers, <clears throat> now we got him extremely cheap due to the fact that we only had to buy one collectible, three collectibles were given to us because they were uh, sniped by uh, somebody who was watching the stream and I haven't taken any donations all year, every time somebody asks if I want to put up a card, and they have given me something. I gave away the card that they gave me no matter what it was. Uh, but they gave me a collectible. And I was like, okay, I felt like, you know, let's just let's just go on ahead and take these collectibles. <laughs> so, um, three out of the four collectibles were, you know, given to us. And he said he sniped all three of them uh, for relatively cheap. And he just gave it to us. And he showed me screenshots of him sniping the card. So, told them I was extremely appreciative of that, of course. So here we go, top game week two for Lorenzo Neal. That gives us the legend 5K for finishing the set. And here he is, the first 95 overall card in the game outside of OBJ and, um, and you know, Marshawn Lynch and Steve Young. But, you know, the first one you've been able to, you know, anybody can get. So let's go on ahead and compare him to uh, previously uh, 92 overall Okoye. So... 82 speed, less strength, less awareness, better run blocking, better catching, less carrying, less uh, stiff arm, less trucking. Lorenzo Neal wasn't, you know, really known as a runner. He was one of the best blocking fullbacks of all time, and I'm really, really excited to go on ahead and get this card. So let's go on ahead and put this beautiful bastard in the lineup. I will be um, showcasing season seven once I go on ahead and get uh, Leroy Glover. And then I'll be able to uh, go on ahead and uh, utilize the new legend. So, all right, we're going to go on ahead and uh, all right. So we got Lorenzo Neal, ninety-five overall, and we are going to utilize his blocking ability extremely well. And I'm I'm really 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 excited for that. So, Okoye becomes our backup fullback, and now Sherman becomes the third highest overall. So, we're actually maxed out uh, in fullbacks with the top three overall. So, now I also get to put Lorenzo Neal as a kick return blocker, and that's going to help out pretty well, too, considering uh, he has, you know, really high run blocking. So, that right there I enjoy as well. So, we're going to put Lorenzo Neal right there. Then we're going to go on ahead, and we're going to put Sherman. We're going to put Sherman there as well. So, that... Uh, gives us some really good kick return blocking as well. So I believe we have Hewitt who has really good high run blocking. And we have another fullback that can block pretty well. Just have to find him. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? What was his name? I don't remember. Uh, we just need to find somebody with some run blocking. Uh, what's his run blocking? 71. Eh. I don't have anybody better than... Uh, I thought I had somebody better than that. Oh, I guess that's what we got for now. Okay, so we're going ahead and get him. And we will, uh, yeah, utilize uh, Neil's blocking ability for kick returns as well. So that's the end of the video, fellas. Letting you guys know that we got both. Well, not both. Excuse me. We got one legend, uh, Lorenzo Neal. And um, I hope to be able to utilize his blocking ability and hopefully create some running links for us. It's your boy GS. We're going to go on and be signing out. Peace.